Andy in Hebden Bridge, England. <laughs> you English have some great names to your cities. I just love it. Hey, Paul, I get the whole thing about frequencies above the range of human hearing affecting the harmonics of those frequencies that we can hear. Good job. And I would add to that phase angle, right? Because you, you don't want the harmonics to be damaged or altered in any way, nor the phase angle, which is why we want amplifiers that have a lot, very high slew rate, very fast, high bandwidth, because it doesn't affect, as he puts out here, as Andy says, um, the harmonics nor the phase angles of those frequencies that we can hear. But, okay, given that most amplifiers have a frequency range of around 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, how would they drive a super tweeter with much higher frequencies? Many thanks. Well, the fact is, I know of very few amplifiers that only go out to 20 kilohertz. Now, there are a number of Class D amplifiers that only go out to 20 kilohertz and then start rolling off, and they wouldn't be great candidates for the super tweeter. But most Class AB amplifiers of, you know, any legit amplifier go way, way out. So they would be much better at driving a super tweeter. But to be specific, if you do have a, let's say a class D amplifier, because a, a lot of the older class D amplifiers go out to 20 kilohertz, and then because of the output filter that they have to have to get rid of all that switching noise, um, they kind of roll off pretty quick. They, it's not a, a, a brick wall, so of course, even at 20 kilohertz, it starts rolling off. That's, that's flat to 20 kilohertz, maybe uh, 25 kilohertz is your 3 dB down point, then you know, it starts going down at 6 or 12 dB per octave, let's say. Well, even a super tweeter hooked up to that still has energy above 20 kilohertz, because like I say, there's no such thing as a brick wall. But I think the, 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 the real answer is that I don't know of many amplifiers that cut right off at 20 kilohertz, so I think you're going to be okay with a, with that super tweeter if, in fact, that's the direction you want to go. And we talked about super tweeters before. I'm not a huge fan of it. Gus's Sony speakers have super tweeters. They go out to 50 kilohertz. They're very nice speakers. The top end on the Aspen series, which doesn't have a super tweeter, sounds a lot more natural. And and remember, one of the things we don't want, we don't want it to sound like a tweeter. We want it to sound like there's no speaker there at all. That's the ultimate goal. Okay. Thanks for the question. Talk to you later.